All right, next up is this cute little American made uh, or American brand model 5200. Kind of a nice little lock, very solid, good shape. I inherited this from someone who had lost their keys, and now I'm going to have to pick it in order to get the core out and, and re key it. This is not the key, but it's just to show you that it, it is locked. Okay, let's see if we can go in there and get down to business. Uh, I'm going to use top of the keyway tension. Uh, when we do that, we have to make sure that we don't have any weird angles so it doesn't pop out when it finally does release against the spring tension. And we want to make sure the tip of the tension wrench is not up against that first pin, which would lock it in place, make it impossible for us to, uh, to pick it. And typical, I'm just going to go all the way to the rear and start from there. For me, that's the logical way. I'll try to keep this angled so you get an idea of what I'm doing. Some of these American locks do contain spools, so we might get lucky and you'll get some feedback. Otherwise, it's going to be just the serrated pins. And they don't give a lot of feedback, but you'll feel that grinding around inside of there as they kind of slide in. It'll be like grains of sand inside of a mechanism. So, then there'll be some small chunks and then a very large one. And that's the indication you've, you've set it. Occasionally I'm going to test, after every major click, I'm going to check and maybe I've picked it and I just don't realize it. You have to check against that spring tension. Take it slow and easy. We don't want to overset anything. Got a little bit of feedback there. I might have a spool. Let's we'll see if we can push him into place. We got a serious false set going. I think we probably got one left. But they all feel pretty solid. So I got to take a chance. See if I can find one with a little bit of feedback. Just nudge him and hope he's the one. And there he is. When you know it's first one. <laughs> okay, now we can remove the guts of this thing. Um, let me start move this ruler out of the way. There we go. Okay, we did have a safety wafer in there, so move all this junk. Okay, the first thing we got to do is remove this little washer off the back which locks everything down without losing the pick bill here we go our follower up here So they're going to be on the bottom. So I should probably rotate this thing. Son of a bitch. I got a pick. There we go. Now we can be smarter about it. I didn't want to lose everything. Okay, put the follower in there. 
Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, looks like five of them are populated. So I'm going to take, jump them out one at a time. One, two, three, four, and the last one, five. Cool. And let's go ahead and pop out the pins on my tweezers here. Put my thumb over so the stuff doesn't come flying out of our eyes. He's not under a lot of tension, is he? Okay, first one looks like serrated. Two is a spool. Three is a spool. Serrated. And the last one is a another spool. Okay, let's see if we can get the camera down a little bit, zoom in a little bit on this. You can see it. Okay, we're looking at the key pins themselves. It looks like a serrated, 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 serrated. And then the uppers looks like serrated spool, spool, serrated, and another spool. So I'm going to toughen this guy up. I'm probably going to get rid of maybe at least one of these spools and put in a ser another serrated upper and lower and then uh, put in two extra, maybe three extra wafer breakers and then reassemble it and call it good. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.